So just complete our service page and now it's time to start creating our blog page. So if I go to our blog, it looks like this. There is nothing. Now if I go to our dashboard, go to posts, there is nothing. So we have to create and add some post inside our blog page. To do so, I have to navigate to the plugins. You can post one by one, but I'm going to use a plugin which will generate a dummy post for me. And in most cases, it's very useful when we are going to create any uh, dummy site or any website for our user using dummy content. Let's click on add new. And type here dummy post. Then click on install now. I'm going to use this one WP dummy content generator by Deepak Anand. And now click activate. So here you can see there is a lot of options. So you can you add dummy user, you can add dummy custom post, dummy post, and WooCommerce product as well. For this video, I just want to use post and I'm going to generate dummy post and I'm going to click over here. I would like to add 15 post and I would like to use featured image and that's why I'm going to check here. Click on generate post. And if I go to my post here, you can see I have added already 15 post. Now, if I go to my blog page and reload the page here, you can see I have added all the post and I didn't publish them. It just added automatically using the plugin here. Now it's time to start designing our page. To design our blog page, we have to navigate to the edit site and click on toggle navigation click templates and here you can see we have only changed uh, this on template uh, which is displaying the uh, blue dot so if i hover over this template here you can see this template has been customized but the rest of the other templates i uh, didn't touch any of them we will use one by one uh, based on our requirements so currently i'm going to change our blog page so if you take a look at here display posts on the home page or the post page if a static home page is set so if you read this carefully currently this mentioned that if we set any static home page then this page will be displaying blog content so currently we have already set our static page if i go to our settings and reading here you can see we have select our static home page and static blog page so with this configuration please make sure you have to change the blog archive or the blog page design from here so when i select home page this is the exact page that where i have to change for my blog now if i visit blog let me open the blog page here so that i can show you the live preview here now this is the blog archive page and the blog or, or the blog page so if i go to my editor and i would like to change the header first let's click on here and click on the header and here you can see the options to replace the header if i just uh, reduce the browser size and click on replace so here you can see existing template parts so this header we have created and as you can see this is our own created header and there are some other headers that is created uh, by others uh, or the theme developers they have created this one now i'm going to create or i'm going to use our own header so i'm going to select this one and click save let me show you how it works So as you can see, it's just change our header instantly. It's really beautiful, right? And it's very useful. Now let's go back to our editor again. And if you take a look at here, query loop, the query loop adds the all the post and we do not want to use them here. We would like to use our own query loop style. Let's remove them. And click save. And we load our blog page. And it looks like this well now at first i would like to add 
let's add something here so i'm going to use page header for my blog so from reusable blog i'd like to use page header and go to again our header and here you can see group and the page header so there is uh, some other information that i do not want to use i do not want to use group okay not this one so there is a little mistake that i have made and if you take a look closely inside the header i have added the page header so that's not uh, my goal my goal was the header should be separate and the footer should be separate so please don't make a mistake like this i have to drag it and drop it here and the header is now separate i'm going to remove the paragraph from here and the header is now separate and the page header is separate here i hope you understand what i mean if i click on save change and reload the page okay i'm not sure why it didn't update the page header let's remove the button from here and click save change well uh, to add something inside here please make sure you have added a uh, loops and inside the loops we can add another information or any other information here so to do so i have to add content i have to search content post content or i can simply add loops here so i'm going to remove this one as of now so first let's add loops And choose a you can choose style and make sure the loop is not uh, coming or is not placed inside your uh, header area so I can choose a pattern from here let's take a look if it's uh, if any of them is matching with my requirements and later on I, I will change the layout so I can use this one as of now the loops looks like this so the header uh, looks like this the loops is here and the other information is here let's click on save change and reload the blog page well now the blog page looks like this so there are a couple of things that uh, you can add any other information inside here you can add um, any other uh, content any other uh, dynamic content here and it's very helpful so let me show you exactly uh, how it works one by one if i click on the loops here there is a one mistake as you can see the loop seat is added inside the footer i have to take it and place it before footer and after header right and now it looks like this so the gutenberg is still uh, on development mode there is a lot of thing that you have to work on uh, with the default gutenberg editor uh, hopefully we'll be uh, used to with the layout and other settings here so currently i'm going to use max width 1000 pixel and click save reload and it looks like this it looks uh, way much better than the previous one now I can simply add any kind of information here so I can add uh, inside the loops I can add text I can add other information here let's add some uh, paragraph and see how it works custom text for taste purpose and we load the page now it's added here now it's time to add our own block and see how it works drag it and drop it here boom okay and uh, if i click over here 
the paragraph the page header and i'd like to use remove the paragraph and remove reload and now reload the page the page header is now working and it looks really great and this is a fully custom blog page that we have created and uh, if i click any of the post it will take us to the single post page and inside the single post page you can add whatever you want you can add sidebar it's almost like the elementor pro version but you have to just understand how the gutenberg works but as of now i'm not going to use a uh, page header uh, but later on we can use it but I'm, i'd like to remove this one well and here is the separator okay so now if i go to our post template and featured image then column there's a lot of thing that uh, you have to understand how the post template works there's a post date post title and you can add a uh, post excerpt here so uh, it's very interesting let's add post excerpt here and see it's working right and uh, there is an options for read more and you can add read more link as well so when i click over here inside the post excerpt and show link on a new line and also you can change the post excerpt value so by default it's taking its own value if i go to blog page it looks like this and this is the title so you can change the title uh, size you can change everything here so i think uh, i have already uh, spent so many time in this video in our next part i'll be uh, styling this blog page